Oh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change a brake light on the Vauxhall Astra J 13 plate. So just a final tool's not working. Okay, so we've got the passenger side one not working. Annoyance. It's really easy to change. Easy to make the boot. To excuse the mess in here in here you'll see there's a panel undo that and behind that is a fuse board but then I don't know if you'll be able to see this I need to get some light in there I suppose will help you've got that wing nut so what you need to do oh not going very well There you go, you just need to undo this. God, it takes a long time. There you go. That's what it looks like. I'm a little frozen thing. And they should be able to remove the whole rear light cluster. So you see. Like that, give it a little tug. Probably not the best camera for stuff for this. Much easier one-handed. Come on. Um, give it a little push on the inside. Come on. I'm going to have to put you down for a second. Two hand job. It. and then once you get it out you will have this wiring loom you just pull the clip in pull it off and then out the clip point there as well just come out there you go and then that Brings it out in here, so we want to change these. So first of all, we've got to, we've got to loosen this and this and this off. So they should be hand tight, but it's been a while, so we're gonna use a spade end, flat ended screwdriver, and just loosen those off. I should come out my hand. One. Two. Three. And that should just come out. So it says. There we go. So back to one side. So on this, on here, let's come out and make it a bit better for us. We've got a seal, so you need to make sure the seal stays in place because that keeps it watertight. And that is the offending bulb right there. It's not great. So it should just pop out, which it does. And then we replace it with the, the new bulb. So now we've got the bulb out. Now we need to replace the bulb with the new one. You can get it from anywhere, not just Halfords, 
Alf was my local place. All right. So very simply, pop the bulb out. Carefully insert it. That's it. Easy as that. So now, just need to put it back together. Make sure you keep the seal. So make, make sure you keep this seal. This is what keeps your water tight. So make sure the seal stays in place. Over the studs. What say? Check the seal. Check that seal. Yep. Yep. Good. And then refit the little holders, retaining parts. Rubbish in the car and about. Okay, so that's there, we're all sealed in. Then just uh, take the screwdriver, nip them up. Remember, we want to keep the unit watertight, so it need to be tightened but not over tightened. Don't wrench it round so we've got to create a seal. Again, check the seal all the way round. Perfect. Okay, now it's just a case now of in the wiring loom. So it only goes on one way. Push it in, take clicks. And Like the right way around. Well, this is not going very. Camera work's not very good here. Apologise for that. Get the, put it back in its little clip. Oh. There you go, good. And then reseat the light back into position. Oh. Not my finest moment of camera work. There's a lot going on. Probably the most awkward part of the job. I'm going to just put this down for a second. Hey, finally went back in. Bit of a challenge, but finally went in there. Okay, make sure it's nice and secure. And then it's just a case of rinse and repeat. Give me some lights so you can see what I'm doing. Refit the retaining cap to up. Is it going on? Is that off? Oh, I'd say we fear, but it's not going back on now. There you go. Spin it around. Beautiful, there we have. Okay. 
Okay, just hand tight, but tight. Yeah. It's not going to be able to get loads of leverage on it. And there we go. And that's all left to do is to test it out. So let's test it out. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe the truth. Found that video useful please give it a give it a thumbs up and a like to help me promote my channel and subscribe cheers